If there was something that Putin underestimated is our common resolve, the fact that we can be as united as we have never been, uh, and the message today has to continue to be that. Uh, after that, we need to think about what we do as a union, as the next steps. First of all, we need to address the largest humanitarian crisis we have had since the Second World War. We need to rethink our migration and asylum strategies. We need to start to think properly in terms of our green transition, that it's not only about climate ambitions, but also about a security policy. And we also need to think in terms of rule of law and justice. That's what the Ukrainian citizens want. And that is why we should offer them a home that they always feel in Europe. Well, I think the primary aim and the ultimate aim has to be that we no longer remain dependent on Russia for gas. That has to be the position. It will take time, of course, with some realities in member states to wean some countries off faster than others. But at the end of the day, we need to have a policy where we buy our gas or are dependent on gas from our enemies, from our friends, and not from our foes. Well, my message will be tonight that we welcome, uh, as I have done already, the application of Ukraine and Georgia and Moldova. We also cannot forget our Western Balkan uh, countries and our partners that have been on the track of making sure they can be part uh, of uh, the European family. For us, uh, this is the message of inclusivity. We want people to look to Europe if they uh, share our common values, our common principles, our democracy and our rule of law. And that's the strongest message we can send as a union, and I will insist on it tonight.